My name is Michael Wallace. I'm the Fred C. Anderson Professor of Medicine and Gastroenterology at Mayo Clinic. My primary role is as a gastroenterologist. I take care of patients with gastrointestinal diseases, most importantly those with gastrointestinal cancers, such as esophagus, pancreas, or colorectal cancer, and also those with conditions that would predispose them to getting those and how we can try to prevent those from happening. I was inspired to do research mostly out of the same curiosity that we all have as kids. I was always very curious, like most children, and the wonderful thing about research is that you can follow that curiosity in a professional career. We ask questions, and research is about trying to ask a question and answer it, and then see what next question that leads to. So for me, it is both, um, it's both enjoyable, it's very exciting, it's fun to do research, and it's also very rewarding because we can hopefully, through answering those questions, help take better care of our patients. I've had a lot of mentors in my career, first starting obviously with my parents. My father was an academic physician um, at Duke University, and my mother worked in the field of arts. And so actually both inspired me quite a lot, and I think that's part of why I enjoy research so much, because research is ultimately a creative activity applied to science. Um, and so I had a lot of influence from my mother. I, originally, I went to college thinking I was going to be an art historian and studied art history. It was only later that I realized I enjoyed science and biology and medicine very much. But I've enjoyed a career where I could really have the best of both worlds, being both a creative uh, scientist and a physician. I also had many professional mentors. Really importantly, starting in Boston in my training at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, I had two important mentors, Jacques Van Dam, who really mentored me in being an academic endoscopist in the field of early cancer detection, and also David Carlock, uh, who taught me uh, how to apply uh, the field of therapeutic endoscopy to the best care of our patients. I moved on in my training to Charleston, South Carolina, where I had two additional superb mentors, Peter Cotton and Rob Hawes, two of the pioneers of therapeutic endoscopy. I continue to uh, reach out to them. Both are still uh, very active uh, in their practice right now and in their research, and I still reach out to all of those mentors on a regular basis to seek guidance when we have uh, difficult decisions to make. Broadly, my area of research focuses on how we can detect cancers at their earliest, most curable stages, and that includes in the esophagus with Barrett's esophagus, in the colon with advanced polyps and early cancers of the colon, and also in the pancreas. We're working very actively in all three of those areas. I would say the area I'm most excited about is right now pancreas cancer and early detection, mostly because this has been a very problematic area. Pancreas cancer is a very lethal cancer. Only 9 to 10 percent of individuals diagnosed with that ultimately survive that. And so we need a better way to detect that early. Uh, we've been working on finding markers both in the bloodstream and in the intestinal tract that tell us that someone might be at risk for pancreas cancer. And we're also working in the area of artificial intelligence to help us look at images like MRI and CT scans to find the very early subtle changes of pancreatic cancer. I think I, I would like to add that a lot of our work is really inspired by our patients and our community. We've had incredible support from our community, uh, especially in this area of pancreatic cancer. Two local groups in particular have really been uh, very influential and enabling in our pancreatic cancer research program. The Florida Pancreatic Cancer Coalition uh, has been uh, working for many years now to help support research in pancreatic cancer. And more recently, the Champions for Hope and the Funk and Zatello Foundation has really focused our efforts and supported our efforts in early pancreatic cancer detection. So I want to reach out and say thank you to both of those groups for inspiring us and supporting us.